Dear Hiking, At first, I didn't really notice you, and your powers remained hidden to me during both childhood and youth. I never would have thought that you could become my greatest passion one day, and it never crossed my mind that walking for months could be something to look forward to for years. In 2013, my brother and I had no clue of what you would be like, and we encountered you with the cheapest equipment possible. The first thing we noticed about you was your intensity, both physically and mentally. Walking 30 kilometers in a day, that seemed like the most strenuous thing that I had ever done in my life. You led us to places whose names we can still recall today. And you left us with memories of almost every corner of the West Highland Way. Eager to know if it was possible to be with you alone, I tried my first solo hike two years later. But after just slightly more than a week, all my surroundings began to scare me somehow. And I sadly had to realize that I was not yet prepared for a longer trip. I guess this is something that you are especially good at. You confront hikers with their fears and limits. But the good thing is that you also provide them with opportunities for working on them. So with your help, at least some of them can be left behind. You let my brother and me quit another trail, this time because my fear of falling off a steep cliff was too great. But I successfully set out onto easier hikes a year later, so at last you graciously let me experience what it is like to complete a trail alone. You introduced me to wild camping, which I had been avoiding so far. I also woke up at dead of night only to realize that a thunderstorm was right above my tent, so you made one of my greatest fears come true. Initially, wild camping scared me and I got skeptical about whether it would be possible to complete a long trail someday. But on the Southern Upland Way, it's been quite enjoyable. And despite the cold and the snow, you walked with me from the Irish Sea to the North Sea. And finally, last year, we did not have electricity or warm water for a couple of days. So now it seems like you have prepared me well enough for one of the long treks. Something that had been inconceivable to me when I got to know you. But over time, you managed to make me more confident and more courageous. After years of being underestimated, you were the first to make me see that it is not just a quote, but that you can really do anything and go anywhere. And this is something that I am grateful for. During the last years, you have been the light at the end of the tunnel whenever I found myself studying deep in the night. You were constantly there to make me look forward to the summers. Like this, you gave me the strength to pursue and achieve other goals while patiently waiting for our great adventure that I knew was lying ahead. 
by providing challenges and letting me succeed and most of them you make me trust myself and my abilities. So whenever I did something that seemed risky or unusual to others, I somehow knew that it would turn out alright. When we were out there alone, you made me communicate with strangers and thus made me overcome anxieties that had been with me since childhood. More than that, you showed me that the vast majority of people is trustworthy and kind. You made me appreciate the nature that we live by so much. The leaves and the trees and the birds and the waters. And the sun of course. And you made distances become meaningless. So thank you for all these lessons and for making me the person that I am today. Without you, I wouldn't know the sense of true freedom that I feel whenever it is no one but you and me walking for hours and hours just to get to a place from which we can start walking on and on again. It is fascinating to look back on a map and see how far one can go with the help of nothing but one's own feet, free from material excess. I already look forward to meeting you again, and I hope that we'll both be able to walk the length of New Zealand soon. Although I would advise everyone to never wait for as many years as I did to fulfill their dreams, I know that if there is anything that can be relied upon, it is that you will always be there, waiting on Te Aroa or any other trail. For it is only a matter of time before borders are reopened. We will all be hiking again. Sincerely, Hannah.